My name is Dave Leiniger. I'm credentialed media for the Reno Air Races. During July of uh, this year, um, when I was at Oshkosh, I had the opportunity to talk to John Mazala, who's the owner and operator of Pacific Fighters in Idaho Falls, Idaho. He was telling me that he was going to be bringing John Sessions' Tiger Cat from Seattle, Washington, to the National Championship Air Races to participate in the uh, National Aviation Heritage Invitational. Mike Brown, who campaigns his Tiger Cat regularly here at the Arena Air Races, would be bringing his Tiger Cat also to compete. With the two Tiger Cats here at the same location, I thought it would be a very nice shoot to get the two Tiger Cats together. And a week before the air races, I was informed that yet a third Tiger Cat would be coming to the Reno Air Races and participate in the Heritage Competition. That aircraft was going to be flown in by Clay Lacey, and the aircraft is owned by Joe Clark, and based out of Van Nuys. Upon finding out this information, um, I immediately asked uh, for contact information for Clay Lacey and contacted Mr. Lacey and asked him if he would like to participate in the photo shoot that I had already arranged. And he agreed to it wholeheartedly. Now, I won Reno Unlimited in 1970, and I feel lucky 45 years later to fly a fighter back to Reno, this F7F, which is a fabulous airplane. Clay Lacey showed up late that afternoon from California with, with the Tiger Cat. And upon arrival, we immediately refueled his Tiger Cat, John Sessions' Tiger Cat, and positioned Mike Brown's Tiger Cat on the ramp for a static shoot. At 6 p.m. that evening, we launched the three Tiger Cats in the photo plane and started heading northeast towards Pyramid Lake. The Tiger Cats quickly formed up on the photo plane and we were able to get some of the spectacular shots that you see here from that photo shoot. Uh, the significance of this photo shoot is the fact that there are 13 surviving Tiger Cats in the world, six of which are airworthy and flying. And this photo shoot represents 50% of those airworthy and flying Tiger Cats. Well, the F7F built by Grumman was uh, probably the highest powered uh, propeller airplane ever built. And it was uh, designed, uh, one of the primary designers is Gordon Israel, who helped design the Learjet, and Benny Howard and Gordon uh, designed Mr. Mulligan and the DJ Howards. He, uh, the airplane was built the same time the Bearcat uh, in the 43, 44, 45 era. And by the time it came out in 45, it went to an operational squadron, the uh, war was over. World War II was over. So it never saw combat as a fighter plane. Tiger Cats were originally manufactured late during the war in the late 40s and did not have the opportunity to participate in World War II. So they were used strictly as reconnaissance and uh, ground attack aircraft until they were ret retired in the 1960s. They built about around 400 of them, but in Korea they did have a squadron of radar airplanes. They put a radar observer in the back and had radar like the P-61 and the P-82. And um, then they also had a radar area, a photo recon squadron in uh, Korea. This was a photo recon version here. Uh, it carried a second crew member and had a lot of camera. Uh, camera. You can see the doors on the side and on the bottom where they had cameras. It's a great airplane. The book says it'll go, it'll take off to 5,500 feet in one minute. If you 
you leave tech off power on. I've never tried that, but it certainly gets off the ground fast. I'd say 10 seconds. And uh, it's uh, one of the few airplanes I've flown. You feel like it probably has enough power. And uh, I would expect in two years from now, there'll probably be eight of them maybe flying instead of the three that's flying today. As a result of their retirement in the 60s, there hasn't been this many Tiger Cats together in the same location or in the air flying in formation since the 60s, which makes this a significant event.